Uh, so as we said, the first thing that you should see, or is make sure that the scene is safe and all that, I think you know this. So the second thing that you have to do is basically you check vision whether the vision is responsive or not. So the vision comes back as unresponsive, so I have to go one, call an ambulance, okay, and as well as pray my AAD and then come back to the patient. Okay, whatever that might take, but you have to be very quick. Provided that also you know where they find the AAD first. Okay, so get AAD on the way to calling services and you get the AED and then come back to the vision. Now when you come back to the vision, you have to check for two things. One is you need to check the pulse, and then the pulse typically is your current pulse. Yes. At the same time, you look for chest rise. Chest rise, which is basically a reflection of the vision is breathing or not breathing. So within 10 seconds, you have to decide is the vision breathing or not breathing? Is there any pulse or no pulse? So imagine that the patient, this patient does not breathe and has no pulse. So what I do? So the first thing is that I have to do is basically you start CPR. Okay. Continue 30 to 2. Allow full chest recoil. In pads and connector assist. next to flashing light. And then put it there. Okay, and then wait for the so analyzing it's... heart rhythm. So straight away we'll tell do you not analyzing touch heart rhythm. The do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Okay. Charging. Stay clear of patients. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button. Shock delivered. Okay, shock delivered. Pause. Immediately resume CBI. CBI. You don't check pulse. You don't check pulse. So immediately continue CBR for another two minutes. All right, then only you can check the pulse when the rhythm is being analyzed. Okay. So do not check the pulse. Okay. So immediately continue. Immediately resume CBR. Immediately resume CBR. So continue 32 as a singular skewer until help arrives. All right. So you can always deliver shots. Okay. Continue. This should continue for about whatever it takes until somebody arrives. Right, now this is a singular skewer. So a singular skewer should be able to do all three things at the same time with a minimal interruption. Now let's say that you have a two. So